Hey everybody, it's Charlie from DM Sound. Today we've got the sound system demo on the 2023 Ford Bronco Sport and its 10 speaker BNO audio system. This is going to be an in depth review. We're going to take a look at how the infotainment system works, take a look at audio inputs, adjustments, and controls. We're going to look at speaker locations. Then we're going to head out on the road and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Now, if you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning and you just want to hear the music, click ahead in the video. We've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. And if you want to hear even more on this sound system, sign up to become a Daily Motor member. I'm going to record a members only sound trust with member requested tracks so we get to dig into the sound system a little bit more, hear some quote unquote real music, and support the channel. All that's linked below. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at it. I think this Heritage Edition Bronco Sport is awesome. I love this Robin's Egg blue color. In fact, we had a full size Bronco in a very similar uh, package earlier this year. Same color scheme. I think it looks really good. We also saw a real Bronco from the 60s with this color package over the weekend. That was really cool. If you do want to see more on the Bronco Sport, check the link in the description. We've got a lot of videos that we're recording, full review, a breakdown on the infotainment system individually showing Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, fuel economy test, all that will be linked below. Now we always do these tests with uncompressed WAV files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system and high quality Roland binaural microphones in both of my ears giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also did the test with sound settings set to their factory default, so let's take a look at those now. This higher trim Bronco Heritage Limited has the Sync 3 infotainment system. Like I said, we've got a full breakdown on it linked below, but we're in the media screen now. We're actually gonna have to go back here to settings to get to the audio settings, swipe over, and we see sound. Click on that, we've got adjustments for treble, mid-range, and bass. Let's go through those. As you can see, it's not the easiest to make those adjustments, but I suppose you get used to it or you can tap through. But there is a lot of adjustability there. Below that, you have adjustments for front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance. You can move it around the cabin or reset it right there. Below that, speed compensated volume control. So as you get going faster, the car is going to lift up volume to make up for speed, wind noise, engine noise, road noise, etc. I like having that on low. And then a sound mode, both surround and normal. Here it says configures vehicle speaker for stereo or surround. It's pretty straightforward. Surround's gonna give you a little bit more of an artificial 360 effect. Stereo is gonna keep it very basic. So as the song gets going, we're going to test it out, but let's see what Ford has it as reset. Yeah, surround is the basic setting. I believe if I press stereo, hit reset all. Oh no, it actually, uh, it's unaffected by the reset all. So we'll test both. I'll probably do most of the test in, I don't know, they both sound pretty good. So let's go through as the sound's picking up, uh, song's picking up here. come down to personal preference I actually kind of like surround mode in this car I don't often like surround modes they usually sound pretty fake but this one adds a dimension to the music that I kind of enjoy but we'll have to see when we do some more advanced music testing later on and that's it for audio adjustments for audio controls here in the Bronco Sport you have a nice volume knob here it's got a good rubber grip around it decent amount of clickability good reach for both the driver and passenger you also have volume controls on the left side of the wheel for track selection, you got physical controls here, a tuning knob there, and physical controls on the right side of the steering wheel. Now this is the same steering wheel layout I, we had on our Ford Maverick, and I don't love how track and volume are on different sides of the wheel, because if you're driving with one hand, then you can't control all of it at once, but at least it looks nice and symmetrical, and there are physical buttons. For audio inputs here in the Bronco Sport, you have your standard AM, FM, Sirius XM satellite radio. Do we have HD radio? Let me check. 
yes, we do have HD radio support as well. If you've got a USB-A port and a USB-C port down in there, it's nice having both. You also have two USB-Cs here in the center console, but those are for charging only. They're not gonna give you any data connection. You've got Bluetooth and support for wired and just, sorry, just wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, no wireless. That's a big disappointment there. I know this is a little bit of an older system, but it'd still be nice to see it. What else are you missing? Well, you don't have a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack, obviously no disc player and no streaming services built in, no Pandora, Spotify, Apple Music, anything like that. But overall, a pretty flushed out suite of inputs. Like I said, I would just like to have that wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. Speaker locations. As I said, this is a 10 speaker system and it supports up to 560 watts power. Starting in the bottom left, you've got a door mid-ranger woofer-ish combo right there. One, I shouldn't say combo, it's just kind of a, a woofer speaker there. And then a uh, tweeter two up front, mid-range center three, four, five over on the other side. Coming into the back, six, seven tweeter and kind of woofer mid-range combo there. Eight, nine on the other side. And then here in the cargo area, we've got a subwoofer making 10. All right, I'm gonna get this stuff put away and we're gonna head out on the road. Quick heads up, for some reason, my high definition audio didn't record for the second half of this test. So it's just the GoPro audio and I'll still give my evaluation at the end. In response to that, I'm going to make the members only test accessible to everyone via the link below. So feel free to check that out if you do wanna see more high quality content on the B&O system.
I'll say it again, I do love having this track for really testing the dynamic range of these songs, uh, of these systems, and it, it's what separates the men from the boys, essentially. This B&O system is actually pretty darn good for this class, for this type of vehicle, but you do hear where you're lacking some uh, bandwidth with this more complex sort of music. Fortunately, it's really well dialed in and decently powerful, especially with that subwoofer back there, for kind of your standard pop sort of music. Speaking of that, for this next song, we're gonna turn the bass all the way up and see how much rumble we get. B&O here in the Bronco Sport Heritage Limited. Overall, I like what they've done with the system. It's a good step up from something like the base six speaker to make you feel like you're really getting a system worth the 40 plus thousand dollar price tag in this more premium Bronco Sport model. I don't think it's quite as strong as the RAV4. I, I'm just gonna say it's not as strong as the RAV4 JBL or the Mazda CX-5 or CX-50 Bose systems. But it's coming in a little bit below that. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get it in a B, kind of B to B minus range. Like I said, on those more complex sort of songs, you do notice it shortfalls. Beautiful LC 500 there. But 560 watts. It's got a good amount of power. It's got that subwoofer back there. You also got five speakers up here, so you're getting a good amount of uh, bandwidth for most normal sort of listening situations. And it's cool how you can switch between the stereo and surround sound modes to sort of act like you're getting a little bit more of a premium sound system. And admittedly, I do like the surround mode for calmer listening and for kind of more chill type music. If I'm listening to something more complex and really loud, I go back to stereo to kind of fill the cabin that way. But surround utilizes these rear speakers a little bit and adds a fun element. So yeah, solid B, close to B minus sort of system here, but it works pretty well and overall I'm satisfied. So thank you all so much for watching. If you do want to see more on the Bronco Sport, check the link in the description. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.